never profound Always lost in the deep thoughts Deep sinking down and I never really thought What I do if I get lost in these thoughts Now I really got like no God I'm so lost, so damn down I feel like I'm damned I feel like I ain't can handle my own plans I don't know, I hope I don't choke Just really just wanna get written Spitting what I wrote and I rose from the ground It's so profound Try to make a sound Outlast all these clowns Yeah, I'm bound just to bounce back quicker than that I X out, you fools You really talking on the track Really, really sound a rat Really can't bring the heat I'ma bring it back slick Man, you see how I be I'm like a wolf on the beat I'm just wolf at the boast I gotta boast my ego Yeah, we gonna flow all right, what's up guys? My name is Brendan. We're about to react to Wolf of Exordium in Japan, something like that. But uh, this was the most highly requested video in the comments. Also, someone commented, a few people commented, told me to check out Mama. They made that sound pretty interesting. Let me know if that's something I should check out. But uh, other than that, let's get right to the video. I'm going so low, 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 low. That's like what Russ does. I can't remember what album of Russ's it was, but he has a wolf like that. Kind of cool. They kind of almost resemble a tree. TV screens in the background have like this whole tree setup. They're kind of playing off that almost. Uh, when, I, when I point out rappers and say like this guy is pretty unpredictable with his flows, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, and then, then he kind of exaggerates his sound right. Whenever and you know Kanye's take a song like uh, that part by Schoolboy Q with Kanye. Kanye comes on the track almost, he comes on the track really silly, like, okay, 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 okay. Beggars can't be choosers, man, this ain't Chipotle. I just did it, it got some glitter. Oh, man, I might kill my wifey. She the female OJ. She, he's basic, the point being, when you make an exaggerated sound, usually you expect it to come back. But instead right here, he makes that exaggerated sound and then they take the song into a completely different direction. It's really original and unique to what I'm used to listening to. I really like the drums right here. It's boom, ba dum, boom, boom, ba dum, boom, boom, ba dum, boom, boom. I just like the rhythm.
It sounds like they brought in a violin, but it's really subtle. I don't know, it makes the song feel a little bit more villainous right here. The way they got that violin really subtly in the background. Maybe you disagree, I don't know. to the tree. That's dope. That's crazy, man. Why is Korea so much further ahead in like performance arts than, you know, the rest of the American music industry? I mean, there's always exceptions to the rule. And I mean, you could draw a circle in sand and put a decent amount of artists in there that can perform on a level like this. But so many artists don't have, maybe it's a money thing, I don't know, but anyone, BTS or any group under one of the three big labels in Korea, when I'm watching them perform, there's so much going on with the screens and the background and the lighting and the dancing and really just everything. I I mean, <laughs> they put they put so much work and effort into performing and entertaining, and it's really feeling like a lost art in America. But really, I guess more underground rappers don't have the funding to uh, you know do some of these things. And you know what? I also I also don't go to that many concerts. So to be fair, maybe I'm not <laughs> the best analyst of uh, concerts. But uh, for the most part, the ones that I have been to, there's not even been anywhere close to this amount of attention paid towards okay how do we keep the crowd entertained every second along the way and even just the different ways they're switching up the beat and the beat will come really simplified at certain points and it'll be one guy moving with the rhythm of it and just it's fantastic man let's keep going You know, maybe this is too off topic. Let me know if you guys don't want me to get into stuff like this, but I can't help but think about this. I'm just thinking like once augmented reality, which by the way is different from virtual reality in the sense that virtual reality just puts you in a whole another world, whatever world you've created. Augmented reality just takes the environment you're in and adds certain things to it. So I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know, 20 years, 10 years, once augmented reality is really at its potential, which is, I mean, honestly, it's pretty limitless. Imagine going to a concert where you take your seat and there's a some sort of glasses you put on and I'm just noticing the performance right now. Some of them are like doing moves and the screen in the background's kind of, you know, working in unison with the way they're moving. Imagine the sort of things, you know, production and set and performance designers are gonna be able to come up with once they have augmented reality as a part of their, you know, tools that they can use to create a crazy experience. Dude, concerts are gonna get to another level. In fact, you'll probably be able to be at a concert at home 
home just with the headset on, you know, feeling like you're there. But uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm just thinking. I, I don't mean to. I don't want to digress too much. So I'll just cut it off right there. But let me know if that's if that's going too far out of what this video is supposed to be about. I want to keep the focus on EXO, so let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd goes crazy. Dude, this guy's voice and this this guy's voice right here. This guy's voice right here compliments the guy that comes in right after him. Their voices complement each other pretty well. Oh yeah. I just like the contrast between their voices right there. Sounds pretty cool. It still got that drum rhythm from earlier, that boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, 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 ba boom, 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 ba boom, boom. Ow! <laughs> still got the wolf. If you're not, if you're not breathing deeply by the end of the performance, then you didn't give it your all. You know. Look at that. That's hard work right there. That's passion. Probably, you know, I gotta be honest with you guys, probably more than anything else. My favorite thing to react to, I love trying to break down how they've set up the rhyme scheme and just the flow and cadence and everything about it I love. But I also am a big fan of live performances because you get to see how they execute their artwork. You know, I'm not like, I don't have a bunch of rules that I wanna see. When an artist that I follow, you know, is performing, there's only one thing I really expect from them. I don't expect all the theatrics, the lights and all that, the choreography. I don't, if that's not there, it doesn't bother me as much as if what I really care about isn't there, which is the passion, man. I gotta see that whatever you wrote in your lyrics, whether you're singing them or rapping them, it's coming from right here, you know, it's coming from a real place. And the more real it feels to me, the more I can respect what you're saying. You know, real, what is that real respect, real, re real recognizes real, real respects real, recognizes real. <laughs> Things real recognizes real. But uh, I'm enjoying EXO. They do a lot of things that I don't really see in a lot of other places. But uh, you know, they're kind of reminding me of Blackpink a little bit, only in the sense that you know they're very unpredictable with the melodies. You know, I'm a big fan of that, especially if you can do it really smooth while also making it all seem like one piece. You know, a lot of times people will make a song and it'll start sounding this way, and then by the end of the song, it sounds like something else. Or at a certain point in the song, they switch it up completely. And you know, when you do that, it it can work. But for me, I have a lot 
lot more respect for an artist if they if they if they decide to make those crazy switches in the in the melody and stuff. If they can bring it back or make it feel like it's still one song, then I have a lot more respect and a lot more appreciation for that. Because it, it's you have to be clever, you got to be smart about it. So you know, props to XO. I'm having a good time with this journey. You guys, let me know. I'm still curious about Mama. Is that one I should react to? Is there cultural significant lyrics in there that would be interesting to me? Matter of fact, should I look up to the lyrics to this song? Am I missing out on some good stuff? You know, is, is it my bad that I didn't look up the lyrics? You guys let me know. But yeah, guys, my main channel is in the description. If you guys want to keep seeing XO reactions, please give this video a like. And if you just want to help me out, please give it a like. It really does make a difference for me, and I appreciate every one of you. Thank you guys for watching this video.